Today I'm going to talk about postural exercises. At the moment we're spending a lot of time indoors and that inevitably leads to a lot of sitting down and chairs at home aren't ideal for posture. So your posture can be greatly affected. So this video is going to show you all different exercises to work on key areas. So the first area is the hip flexors and quads. Second area is the glutes. Third area is the upper back. And fourth area is the lower back. The first exercise I'm going to focus on is the hip flexors. So, and the quads. So I want you to go onto one knee, put one foot slightly further forward than your, uh, your knee there. And all you're doing is pushing your hips forward. You're resting on your knee. You should feel a really big, deep stretch in the top of the quad hip flexor here. Now, what I want you to do is just very gently forwards and backwards like that. And you should feel a nice, deep stretch. I want you to do about eight to ten of those and then change legs. Try and keep upright and looking forwards, nice and slow. Next area I'm going to focus on is the upper back. Now this is really important to stretch out. Not many people stretch the upper back. So all I want you to do is get on the floor. You have your hands above you, like so. A bit wider than shoulder width apart. Your feet about shoulder width apart and all you're doing is you're reaching over as much as you can and hold it for about 10 seconds and back and rotate the other way now what this is doing try to keep the hips on the floor what this is doing is it's really stretching out the upper thoracic part of your back and it's also stretching out your pectoral muscles here, your pectoris uh, minor muscles here. And what that does is, if you're sitting, you inevitably slouch, and these muscles are getting tight and pulling down like that, so you can see the shoulders round forwards. Now by doing this stretch, you're stretching them out, and you can see straight away by doing that, you're stretching the pectorals out. This is the next exercise we need an inner tube. Now I've cut the inner tube in two to form a resistance band. So if you have a resistance band, that'd be better. And you grab the ends and you wrap it a couple of times around your wrists, your hands like so. So you've got a bit of resistance. Put it above your head, elbows slightly bent. And as you pull down, you want to turn your thumbs outwards and stretch. So turn it out and stretch. It's quite a simple exercise. I don't want you to hunch the shoulders. Obviously, the stronger a resistance band, the better. And what you're doing here is you're working the muscles up here, the subscapularis area. Another stretch for stretching out the, the pecs here to stop this internal uh, rotation going on is to get a door frame. What you want to do with your arm is you externally rotate it backwards like you're throwing a, a ball or a javelin and you're placing the elbow shoulder height but you still got that fist backwards. Then you take a lunge with the opposite leg to so the arm and you stretch away from the door. So you're twisting this way and you can see it's stretching this area here. Your fist is still pushing backwards and you really get a nice deep stretch and you hold that for 10-15 seconds and then relax and change sides to pitch the fist backwards, lunge forwards and twist away to get that really deep stretch into the pecs. The next exercise is called Superman's. Lots of variations of this, 
but the classic one is to get on all fours and you extend one leg out as high as you can and one arm as high as you can forwards and you feel a nice deep stretch across your back right across from one glute to the opposite shoulder the higher you force the leg and the arm the better hold for five to ten seconds and then change sides really reach really stretch point the toes point the fingers arm and leg as hard as you can i call this one uh, chasing the tail so on all fours again all you're doing is you're walking your hands around as if you're going to look at your tail now i'm not dropping my bottom down I'm keeping my bottom above the knees and you really feel the stretch down the lats which is the side of your back really really stretch around and then walk the hands the other way really stretch around and the four mats um, four times in total to each side So this stretch, lie flat on the floor, grab one knee, pull it up to your chest and then pull it over your body, keeping this arm on the floor, really pull down with this hand on the knee as low as you can go. You'll feel a really deep stretch in your glutes. If your glutes aren't tight, you're more likely to feel it in your lower back. Okay, but that's also what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to stretch out these glute muscles and the lower back muscles. So really, really, really stretch. And if you look the opposite way, you can get a further stretch. Hold for about 20 seconds and then release. Change legs, give it a squeeze. And then pull it over to the other side. Look the other way. As you breathe out, try and relax into the stretch a little bit more, pull a little bit harder. This stretch, we're going to do it a donkey kick. So you need an object to hold on to, preferably about waist height, facing forwards, both hands on it. And all you're doing is you're kicking the leg upwards. Now, what I'm doing here is my hips are going to be tilting like that as you kick up. So you're working the glutes and the lower back. I want you to perform for a minute. Really stretch the leg up. It doesn't have to be straight and bent. Once you've done a minute, you then change sides. Really good lower back stretch. This exercise I call hip hikes. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to do a movement like that, where you're rocking your hips. What you do is you put your arm against the wall, about shoulder heights, you lift the leg nearest the wall up. And all you're doing is you're trying to push your hips upwards against the wall. So I'm not doing anything with my leg. It's purely my hips moving side and trying to lift up. Now what this is working is the glute medius, very important muscle for running and cycling, but also, also posturally. Um, if this muscle is weak, you're gonna get problems with IT band, um, problems put down by your knee, but also you're not gonna be able to run as fast, you won't feel as strong, you won't be able to do squats as well. So it's a really important exercise to do in order to prevent lower back problems as well. Because if that's not strong, the stress is taken by the lower back instead. So by making this nice and strong, you're taking the pressure off the back. So if you palpate yourself, just feel on your back, you'll feel two bony prominences, especially if you bend forward. So it's just about here, two bony prominences. So when you think about that, get onto your side, 
okay? So you're not doing a side leg lift. What you're doing is you're taking your leg back from the side and then you're lifting up. Now you'll notice that where you're feeling this bony prominence, you start to feel the glute pulling on it and working. So this area here, okay? And that's what we're after. Point the toes slightly down, keep the legs straight and lift up. Now, if your lower back is, or sorry, if your glutes are weak here, you'll start to feel it in your lower back straight away. That's, that indicates that your glutes are weak. So you need to do more work. So really squeeze and keep it nice and controlled and slow. And you're after about 20 to 30 each side. So another exercise you can do for the glutes is what I call the clam. And all you're doing is you're raising your knee up, bringing it down, raising it up, bring it down to the other knee, like so. And when you've done a minute of these, you should be feeling it in your glutes. So you're really working these glute muscles to lift the leg up. Means in a minute, change sides.